Hey guys, this isn't the uh, official unveiling uh, of my M17, or sorry, CQMF. Um, but a viewer subscriber uh, yesterday, you know, asked about CO2 and <clears throat> the 90 grams just don't work. They don't work in a lot of markers because of the liquid ingestion into the marker freezes your um, heat core o-ring and causes misfires. I have fired 12 grams through this uh, platform and it functioned just fine. Um, but I haven't fired a dual 12 gram. So you can see there, that's my dual 12 gram. It's already loaded up with two uh, 12 gram CO2s. <clears throat> I have 15 rounds of Canada balls in here. I highly doubt it's gonna make it through all of these. Um, this particular CQ is uh, bypassed, so the regulator is bypassed, the PRV is deleted. <clears throat> you can see, so there's no velocity screw and I have a plug in for the PRV. I am running a different bolt spring in here. I don't even know how it's gonna behave yet because I haven't even test fired this yet on HVA. Uh, <clears throat> but this marker has four bumpers installed. Um, funny thing about uh, this M17 CQMF platform is when you bypass, you know, you can uh, have some auto fire, which is you pull the trigger once and it just, it, it just keeps going. But if you haven't noticed when it keeps going, it doesn't actually keep firing projectiles. The bolt is short cycling. So it's not even picking up a round. It's just kind of going back and forth as fast as it can just to deplete the air. <sighs> Haven't truly discovered the reasoning behind that. Um, it can be a number of things, a bad O-ring, a PRV leak, a worn mainspring, um, but there's not just one particular reason it does that. Again, I'm just going to shoot this just to see what it'll do on the 12 gram and uh, yeah, I'm going to do it in the short mode because it'd probably be easier to hold the chrono. So like that, and I'm just going to put my chrono over here. I'm going to air it up on camera and see what it does. <laughs> it, and you can see it's kind of awkward with this 12 gram, it, with the spacing I have here. And if this is spaced out a little more, it might be easier to kind of crank this down faster. But So it might look awkward. Let's try it like this. Well. You heard it, it aired. <laughs> I can't, I listen for leaks because I haven't, uh, you know, I, I go over and over my markers sometimes and I peel them and I tear them down and peel them and I, and I don't even air them. And you know, after when I think I have the whole thing done, I'll air it and I'll have some stupid ass leak like right there or right here. And it's a process I go through. It's my own doing, um, but it's the way I do things. So it did air, no leaks. That's good. Load up uh, 15 rounds. Let's see what it does. It's been so long since I've even fired this thing. I don't know what the FPS should be, but what is gonna be on these dual on the dual 12 burn? You are going to find out for yourselves. Okay, let's go. Safety off. Three twenty. 
Man, it feels good to hold the M17 again. CQ map, sorry guys, sorry. 320, that's with a 10 gram, 9.9 .9 gram Canada right ball. So it's almost 50 joules on a stubby Lapco eight inch uh, 684. Three oh eight pressure is already dropping. You can already see that FPS is already dropping. Sorry. Bypass is thirsty even for HPA and even in the <laughs> this marker an M seventeen platform in a paintball state. They call them air pigs. Um, so I'm not expecting great things from this with the CO two, but. 308, that's three shots. 296. You know, if I probably talk more, I could get it, get it up a little bit. Actually, I will talk a little bit more. CO2 is pretty cold. This tube is not icy cold, but it's cold. It's being, uh, it's being utilized. What do we got? And that's four shots on a 12 gram. And 296 with a 9.9, .9, that's still, I don't know, that's still like 40 some odd joules, 45 joules, 40 joules. You'll see in the little text after. 298. 290. Two eighty two. Two seventy two. I'll just put the safety on there for a sec. Uh, <clears throat> when I do the video, or sorry, when I do the editing for this video, probably just gonna do maybe the first five shots. I'm gonna do the FBS and then maybe the last shot just to show you the, the, the variance. Sometimes it gets redundant to just keep putting it over and over again. I mean, a lot of you guys, you know, there's this uh, idea out there, some FBI statistic, and I don't doubt it that, that you know, a situation can be resolved in the first three shots, um, which is kind of why I always use, when I do my testing, it's three to five shots. I, I, those are the main ones I'm worried about. You know, you miss on the first one or the second one, you better make those other ones count. If you're not, by that point, you're probably going to be swinging something like this as a as a as a striking weapon instead. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry, I keep kicking the camera here. Two eighty two. Two sixty four. Two forty-six, two twenty-eight. It's falling pretty quick now. Two oh six. Yeah, it's spitting them. Really, I can maybe throw them faster. I doubt that, but <laughs> one forty. This chrono stops counting at a hundred. Oh, 104, definitely I could have thrown that one faster. I'm not even going to chrono the next ones. No. That's it. It's going to be hard for me to show this on camera because I don't want to just accidentally blow a window up. But... I should have tried this way. That's it. Dual 12s, expelled, expand, expandable. Expanded? Um, there you have it. Yeah, probably, I would say, well, actually, hang on. All right, guys. That was 15 rounds. So it did, it did fire 15 rounds. I would say maybe the first and minimum five, they were above 300 and these with 9.9 .9 grams, that's still a pretty hefty number. You can see, even the last shot there, 
just wasn't enough to fully cycle that bolt, so it's stuck. Well, not stuck, but when I unscrew this 12 gram, it's gonna, it'll release and come back. Let's listen for it. Let's do it together. Hang on, go like this. Get you closer to the microphone. See if you can hear it as I unscrew this. I did, you didn't hear an audible click. I felt it. It was so gentle. It was so gentle. Now I can show you. There you go, bolt reset. So, dual 12 grams shot almost to the, to the number 15 shots granted, you know, half of those, you know, might've been be better off throwing them, but that's it for today, guys.